In this video I want to show you how to create three cool templates for your Instagram story. So here is the project I've worked on for some couple of days and it's still a draft for now but at the time you're watching the video it will be published so if you'd like you can check out the full project here on Behance. I will leave the link somewhere in the description below. So as you can see we have three styles here. They are very similar but the first one has a has a pale mood with the C and this text above above the mirror, nothing extravagant. Then we have the second one with this with this text and some effects applied to the image. And the third one pretty similar to the first one. Again, a video reflected in the mirror and this text right here. So I guess I will cover up the first one and maybe the second one because the third one it's pretty similar. And you know you can get you can get creative with it and make something unique or more interesting. So no more time wasting, let's jump right into After Effects. Welcome back, if you are new here, my name is Alexander Vlad and I usually make design, After Effects or Photoshop related content. So if you like this type of videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So we have three files in the project panel. First one is a photo of a mirror taken by me. Then we have some calming waves sound. And then we have a video from Pexels. Link in the description from all of this. So first of all, let's create a new composition 1080 by 1920 because that's the good size for an Instagram story. Let's press OK. And let's drag this photo right here. Press S for scale and decrease the scale a little bit, something like 32 looks good and now let's drag this video also so what you want to do is to make the video visible only inside the mirror so for that let's create a new adjustment layer and let's create a mask with the ellipse tool click and drag hold shift for a perfect circle oh look it's already almost perfect but we can make this even better something like this Let's change this anchor, this anchor a little bit, maybe this point lower, this one something like that, and this one modify its anchor a little bit. Yeah, I guess it looks good. Let's put this back to 100% and now on the video click here on the track mat and click on alpha mat. So now don't forget to make it visible. And now the video is visible only inside, only inside this mask. We can obviously change its scale and the position. Something like that looks pretty good in my opinion. Uh, we can put some feather the mask about five pixels looks good all right now what you want to do is make all of this smaller and then to create a background so let's create for now uh, a null object and then take all of these layers and parent it with this whip to the null object press s for the scale and now when we change the scale all the others layer take effect something like that and now let's create a background new solid and you can copy this code for this spell color click ok make comp size ok and put this below looks pretty good and what you can do now is to to create some drop shadow to this photo so click on the photo search for drop shadow all right and opacity 50% degrees i don't know 135 looks pretty good uh, distance we can crank this up to about 90 and softness again crank this up to about 150 something like that and what you have to do now is to create a text here at the top and we're done the last thing we have to do is to create a text somewhere here so new text and let's write, I don't know, simplicity, simplicity, I guess it's all right. And now put this somewhere here, align it in the middle and 
we also want the video to be inside to be visible inside the text so again let's take the video put it below the text and here let's choose alpha mat and you can move it and scale it however you want something like this all right and let's not forget to put some sound waves to it and let's see how it looks yeah i guess it looks pretty good i'll put the link in the description if you don't want to follow these steps so you can get the the template and let's now create another template so now let's give it a try to this green one and for this we're going to use some displacement map for the tiles and then some animation for the text so i've imported this photo and again if you want it just follow the link in the description and now let's create a new composition again 1080 by 9020 but this time let's make it 60 frames because we have some animations and we want to be we want it to be smooth so let's press ok and now let's take the photo drag it into the comp as for scale and scale it down again to about 32 and let's press r for rotation and let's rotate this to minus 90 degrees all right and now let's create the tiles and then let's animate those with displacement map so now let's take the rectangle tool and drag a rectangle then toggle this down go into into the rectangle path and here on the size uncheck this constraint proportions box and then here write 216 because we're going to make five of these and 180 divided by five is 216 and then for the height 916 because the composition height is 9020 and divided by 2 is 916 so now let's align this to the left and to the top and toggle this and now let's duplicate this with ctrl d two three four five okay go into the rectangle two rectangle pad and here on the position write 216 then for the rectangle three rectangle pad position 216 times 2 for the rectangle 4 position 216 times 3 and for the rectangle 5 for the position 216 times 4 all right and now for the rectangle 1 uh, it's okay to be white for the rectangle 2 let's put the brightness to 75 for the rectangle 3, let's put the brightness to 50. For the rectangle 4, let's put the brightness to 25. And for the rectangle 5, make it all black with brightness 0. Okay, and now let's create another set of tiles. But before creating the other set of tiles, let me show you how displacement map works. So let's create a new adjustment layer and search for displacement map displacement map double click on it and make sure you set the layer to shape layer 2 or however your layer is called and then set the mode to luminance and also here so how this works is actually the displacement map will displace the image according to the luminance of the layer so if you have pure white like in this part or pure black like in this part the image will be displaced at maximum value but if you have pure gray like this style in the middle this part of the image won't be affected at all so let's hide the shape layer 2 and here in the displacement map let's increase the horizontal displacement so as you can see the tile in the middle isn't affected at all it stays in the same place but the tiles at the extremities are affected and they are displaced to some extent according to the luminance so that's how it works let's change this again to five and now let's create another set of tiles so let's take the shape layer 2 duplicate this with ctrl d put it right above the adjustment layer and make it visible and now we want to flip this horizontally so first of all let's put this anchor point in the middle with ctrl at home and now i check this box for constraint proportions and just write minus 100 
and also align it to the bottom of the composition. And now let's rename the shape layer to, to set one and the shape layer three to set two. Let's duplicate the adjustment layer, put it right above the set two and change the layer to set two. All right. And now let's take care of the animations for the displacement map. So let's go into the displacement map for the first set and let's change this horizontal displacement to zero. And for the vertical displacement, let's put a keyframe. Now let's press you to reveal the effect. Go about 30 frames later and move this point here. And then go one second later and put another keyframe. So for the first keyframe, let's increase this to about 400, something like this. And for the last one, let's make it zero. Now select all of these keyframes and press F9 for a smoother animation. And now go back 10 frames later, put again a keyframe and the last keyframe, take it and drag it all the way up to about two or three seconds. Now hold control and click once and twice on this keyframe, just so it just so it will be integrated better with the others too. So now if you look in the graph editor, we can see that the, the animation is very smooth. So let's now see how it looks. Just let it render a little bit. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And now let's take care of the second set of tiles. So let's take the vertical displacement, Ctrl C to copy all the keyframes, then go to the adjustment layer 10 and press Ctrl V. Now we have all the keyframes from the first set and let's align this to be in the same place as the first set. And now let's not forget to put the horizontal displacement to zero. All right, let's also hide the shapes for the set too. And now we have a cool animation. And let's also try to make this a little smaller. But first of all, let's crop the image. So for that, let's create a new adjustment layer and double click on the rectangle tool. And now on the image, just select alpha mat. All right, and now let's create a new null object select all the layers and just parent it to this null and now if we press s we can scale this down to something like this and let's make a background something like this green okay put it below put it below and we have this spot right here, this black spot, but if we increase the background size, we can get rid of it. And let's see how it looks. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And now let's also create some text right above here and then we're pretty much done. So let's take the text tool and let's write something like cool Insta story. Okay, let's put this something like here and let's duplicate this three times one two three and then press p4 position and just write plus 100 and for this one plus 200 actually plus 100 and for the last one plus 200 all right and now we have all these layers of text but let's change a little bit the position of the composition. Go here in the null object and maybe put it a little bit to the side and lower something like this. Okay, and now let's create some animations for the text. So we want the text to start from outside of the composition and then to slide back into the center. So for that, let's go here to about 50 frames and let's put a keyframe to the position then go one second later and put another keyframe 
and for the first keyframe let's drag this up right here and now select both of the keyframes press f9 for a smoother animation and now go back about 20 frames maybe 15 something like this and let's put another keyframe so let's take this last keyframe and drag it to about three and a half seconds and now again hold ctrl and press twice on this one go into the graph editor make sure you have speed graph select this point and maybe drag it a little bit to the right and let's see how it looks Yeah, I guess it looks pretty good. So now let's take care of the other layers. So we want the same effect for the second layer and for the last one. So again, go here and put a keyframe for the position. I think I'm gonna speed this part up because it's exactly like the first layer. So just hold on for a minute. So for this third title, we want to start actually from the left side. So again, let's put a keyframe here, then go one second later, put another keyframe and now drag it to the left. Something like this. Again, F9, go here, put another keyframe and this one let's move it up here and now what we can also do is to take this and maybe move it a little bit in a different place just so we create some diversification something like this and let's see how it looks Yeah, I think it looks pretty good and that's actually all. If you like this video, please, please leave a like or a subscribe. It would mean a lot to me and see you in the next video. Bye.